Hi. So this is a uh, linear agitator that I bought online. It has a 100 uh, millimeter throw and I need it to have an 80 or 75 millimeter throw. It has built in limit switches so that uh, when it hits the end there it'll shut off. <coughs> Which is a good thing. but. Too long a throw because I'm actually pulling on a gate valve and it has a throw of 87 millimeters. So I want to use these limit switches, but um, you know, not have to make it sloppy or you know, have a slot in there to take up the difference. So here's how I did that. Okay, so I took the two little screws out there, and this end cap slides off. Well, the whole thing slides off, and here is. Uh, where you have your limit switches. This little uh, bar goes back and forth and in triggers one or the other limit switch and there's a pair of diodes that um, right there that uh, bypass when the current's going the other direction. So you only need one one loop to do both limits. But it looks like this has a <laughs> spacing of about five millimeters so I think yeah. can't see so it looks like these have a spacing of about five millimeters Maybe a little more so I just got to move this limit switch back a couple notches and I'll have the limit that I want so I'm going to uh, desolder these limit switches, try not to destroy the um, rail that they're in because I need it. They're just held in, there's no physical mounting, they're just held in by the solder. So okay, negative that way, remember. So this spot gives me 100 millimeters of travel. So I'll just measure back from here, and that'll be my new spot. Oh, they bent them over. Tricky. Okay. That works too. Okay, so from where my previous pin was, I measured back 15 millimeters. Uh, that would give me an 85 millimeter throw. Actually, I, th I think I'm going to go a little bit shorter. How about 25 millimeters? So that would give me a 75 millimeters of throw. The gate valve actually has 87, but I think I'd hit the door at that point. So I'm going to go a little bit more. So 24. There we go. Okay, so I cleaned it up, the uh, micro switch here, and uh, stuck it back through, and just bend over the tabs, hold it like they were holding it. <laughs> Apologize for the light, but I can't turn the sun off. You. There. Okay, so now that's held in there just like the other one was. I'm not going to clip the wires off in case I want to undo this later. <coughs> so I just need to solder this back in there. And not clipping the wires off looked a little jinky, so I uh, decided to clip them off anyway. And I'll solder more back on if I need to. I got my diode back in there, so it uh, still has the, well, still has the diode. And now I just put it back together. Uh, make sure the wires aren't sticking up because there's nothing to, um, there's no insulation here, and the case is right here, so make sure they don't stick up. And so I've uh, 
it slides back in there in that little channel. Like so. Put the caps on. Put the screws in. Start it. Okay. And test out our new limit. So now we're stopping 25 millimeters shorter where we were before. That's that. Thank you.